There are many projects on Scratch, something like 100 million to be precise. Please correct me in the comments. Some of them are fun games, some have incredible art, some have, well, crazy code mechanics, and some are, um, let's just say, questionable. In today's video, we will be looking through the best games and projects that I've seen on Scratch. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and let's get on with the video. Side note here, we're so close to 10,000 subscribers, so just click that red button, please. The first project I'll be showing you guys is a classic game, Flip 3D. I think everyone has played this at some point and then rage quitted at around level 4, but the code and art is so impressive looking at the fact that the game was made years ago. The music is also incredibly loud, so I'm going to be turning my volume down. You have to move this orange square and get it to reach the end without having the double side hit incorrectly. It's pretty simple, but once you get to the next levels, it gets kind of annoying. I'm not going to rage quit here, so um, I'm going to look on to the next project. The next project I'll be showing you guys is a literal Pac-Man game created on Scratch by Arnahu. You guys can check it out yourself after watching this video, and probably rage quit again after playing the 3D. It's pretty cool. It's also a really old project, and it was made in almost Scratch 1.0. Arna, who is one of the most famous Scratchers that I've seen, and also one of the oldest, even older than Griffpatch, which is hard to believe. You can tell the Scratch editor was weird back then. You guys can try that for yourself. The third project I'm going to be showing you guys is the Griff Patch Soundboard. If you can't tell what it is already from the name, then um, I think I'll let this one explain itself. Well, that's funky. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! No way. Achievement unlocked, guys. Awesome work. We'll let the clones do the actual work. X marks the spot, right? Plain rubbish. I'm getting carried away, though. No, no, stop it. No, sirree. I can't get enough of this. Hold on, folks. Something's different. The balls are no longer sticking to the surface. We don't want our balls to live forever. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, yes, uh, I have gone wrong. Hold on, let me back up a bit. Uh, let's move on to the next project. Another project I found interesting was these Tower of Scratch, a minimalistic art-based platformer game where you can play online, gain coins, buy power-ups and unlock achievements. It's an overall amazing game in terms of code too. It was featured on the home page by the Scratch team at the time of creation. I'm just gonna play for a bit. It's really cool. And you can play online too. The music is also amazing. I highly recommend you try it for yourself. It's really fun. As you can see, there's power-ups up here, some enemies, there's like super jump, I'm, I'm not sure what that is, that looks like stinkiness, I'm, I'm not so sure. But let's move on to the last and final project. To finish this video off, I'm going to show you yet another mind-blowing project by the famous Scratcher Arnehu, who made projects in Scratch 1.0, as you remember from earlier. He made chess. Yes, a working chess engine and bot. If we press play, Welcome we can see that either the robot chess. opponent is really good, or that I'm really bad at chess. You guys can check this project out for yourself, and don't open the code, it lags your computer. Check. Um, yeah, I'd say he's pretty good. He just pulled the intercontinental ballistic missile gambit all over me. 
So um, I doubt you guys are going to win. And if you do win, press export and then post the link in my channel. I don't believe you. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.